Today I'm going to show you how to reset an HP Windows laptop, Windows 8 or 10, without the password. First thing, power up the unit. This particular laptop that we have is a Model 2000-2D29WM with Windows 8 on it. And this procedure should work for any HP Windows 8 or 10 laptop that left the factory with Windows 8 or Windows 10 in it. First thing we're going to do Put the mouse on the screen, left click. Now the computer wants a password. A password that we don't have. A password we're not likely to guess and we're not likely to get. So here's how we deal with this. Come down here, over that symbol, left click once. Make your computer easier to use. Windows will read and scan this list automatically. Press the space bar to select on the screen option. keyboard. Left click on once keyboard. to stop that voice and bring up the on screen keyboard. Put the mouse over the shift key. Left click one time. Notice both. Shift keys are illuminated. Bring the mouse down to the lower right over the power symbol. Left click once. Bring the mouse over the restart. Left click once. This screen right here is the key to making it work. We're going to choose Troubleshoot. Left click once. Reset your PC. Left click once. The computer is going to do a lot of turning off and turning back on and booting and doing all sorts of stuff and I'm going to explain what's going on. The computer is going to restore Windows from a hidden file on the hard drive. A hidden file that all Windows 8 or Windows 10 computers have when they leave the factory. When you create a user account on a computer, it'll usually ask for a password and you'll create a password and that password that you create or the original user create becomes a part of every file associated with that account. So there is no magic key that opens up those files. If you don't have the correct password, the computer cannot decipher those files. So what we're going to do is we're going to restore the computer to the same condition it was in when it was brand new. And we're going to remove everything associated with that user account. So whatever was in there for that user is going to be gone because it wasn't yours to begin with and you don't have the password to get at it. You see the little please wait? Yeah, we do a lot of that. Reset your PC. Here's what will happen. All your personal files and apps will be removed that were not yours in the first place. 
all updates installed on the PC will be removed because those were done on the account that's not yours and your PC settings will be changed back to their defaults. In other words, the computer will be restored to the state it was when it was brand new and that's what we want. Next, left click. Here we have two choices. First one is just remove my files. No, that is not the choice that we want. The second choice, fully clean the drive. That's the one we want right there. Left click once. All ready to go. This will remove your personal files and apps from your PC and restore all settings to their default defaults. It's telling you that once again that everything associated with the account that you do not have access to will be deleted. Left click once. Now let me explain why we took that second choice. The reason why you take the second choice is because A, you don't have the password and it's going to want the password if you take the first choice in many instances. The second thing is that if you just choose to delete your files, those files are not actually deleted. When you put something in the recycle bin, when you delete something off your computer, even though you think it's deleted, it's not really. And this is why someone with third-party software can get into your computer and recover those files. Because the spaces, when you choose delete, all it does is tag those spaces associated with those files as being available if they're needed. If the computer doesn't need those files, they're not deleted. So, we chose the second choice because what it's going to do is it's going to overwrite all those spaces and then delete them so the information is actually deleted and the computer is actually restored to the state it was when it was brand new, which is what we're doing right now. And you see it says resetting your PC 1%. Okay. Patience is required for this procedure. Make sure the laptop is plugged into power. Now I'm going to stop the camera and then we'll restart it later in the process because we don't need to let the camera sit here and run for a huge amount of time. And this can take... Um, you know, sometimes it takes 20 minutes, sometimes it takes two hours, sometimes it depends on how much stuff is in the computer to be deleted. It's been about a half an hour and we are only at 5%. So once again, patience is required for this procedure. Here we are about an hour later and we're about 13% done. Again, you, the time it takes yours to um, reset is going to vary with the amount of data that's on it and the speed of your device. Here we are approximately two hours later at 40% complete. And then we come to this screen and it's all ready to set up. Just like you bought it, opened it up, and turned it on. Factory restored without the password should work on any Windows 8 or Windows 10. Like and subscribe for more great videos.